We've been here for 10 years, very successfully impacting the community with health and fitness. And we had such an amazing run of things going. We have a great membership. We have family as members. Like this is not a gym. Like I say, gyms don't work, people work. We work. We are IO Fitness. This is the shot that gets you like this is the new COVID ready facility and this is the VR hydro 12 mm -hmm. ounces in each hand it holds liquid that you work out with <laughs> this really is crazy. this is crazy straight up this is crazy okay so I didn't know what made you come up with this idea but I came up with the idea because one day I was teaching mm -hmm. in class Afro beats you know we're moving really quickly right. and I have a gallon of water because I got a show coming up right. I got a drink a yeah, gallon, gallon basically water. you know what it is right so I have the water on the side and I gotta teach this cardio class for a full hour of moving for non non stop. And I don't non -stop, stop in between. Yeah, so mm. and in between the choreography, I can't just stop the song and be like, let me hold on, let me do. Even though I encourage my students to drink water, right. the movements are moving so fast. So I kept on moving. I'm looking at my water day after day, like, you know what? I wish I could just get I wish I could just get a sip of, <laughs> of my own water. But after you're so thirsty, you drink too much. But in between, all you need is a mouthful. Right. So I was looking at them, and then we had the sticks that they use for like toning, you know, resistance, and they mm -hmm. dance with them. So I'm looking at all the sand, and I'm looking at all the sticks, plastic, I'm thinking, how can I put that water into this plastic mm -hmm. and use it for my resistance? You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? So I think about it, and then I, I thought, okay, if I get a glove, I couldn't figure it out. So I went to Princeton University. Mm -hmm. I sat down with, smart kids, research and development, and just drank a few beers with them, and we started to just brainstorm this idea. And they told me, go do X, Y, Z, test with sand, test with water, test with, te they gave me all the variables. And I sat down and I started tying gloves on people and putting sand in it and putting water, there was a mess everywhere, for like a year, until we came up with it, until it came together, and I sent it to a company called Thoughts the Paper, and voila. Wow. The TPU, right here. You can see 12 ounces on the side. 16 ounce. So basically, I'm telling you, you can have two 16 ounce bottles in each hand. As I pour this in here. I let the air out first. See the air right there? I let it out. And then I bring this. I put it in my glove. Boom. Suck it in. One, two, three. Zip. And then what you do is you can take that seal off. So you know you're the first one to touch that thing. Take the seal off. Because you don't want to be working out and water spilling everywhere. Exactly. So you're in a bus, you're in a train, you're driving a cycle. You can't have water everywhere. So see how secure that is? You have to actually bite that to get the water. So check it out. <laughs> you gotta think about this thing. What do you think? I'm loving this so far, I'm loving it. Okay. So let, we're gonna get a workout right now. It's a dream in the house and we're gonna work out. Now 
not too many. That's right, that's facts right not too many. Come on, this shit is big. One, two, three, three. come on, four, five, four, six, white work, seven, easy, Whoa. come on, sniper, come on, okay, hey, I'm having too much fun, this is, I'm having too much I like fun, I like the challenge, easy work. money, sniper, No pain at all. I'm not dehydrated. I'm fully pumped. Vascular looking good. I mean, lack of water, lack of pump. It's obvious that that ain't gonna happen here. So I'll set triceps off. I won't set triceps off in here. I like the big boy triceps. Oh, let's go. So let's go let's for the go. big boy section. Let's go. And this is what I love about hanging out and working with people who are better than me, who are bigger than me, who are stronger than me, because I, I'm not trying to compete with him. I'm trying to feed off his energy and learn form, learn technique, learn how I can endure longer. Because if you walk around with people who are smaller than you, Worse than you, poorer than you, you're going to be the, the, the next broke one in that group. The That's next true. weak one in that group. But if you find people who bring something out of you, who help you get stronger, who push you, then you ain't good company. So this guy does that to me. So let's go. It's all about elevating together. Elevate together without ego. Elevate ego. together with no ego. All right. So we're going to get a drop set, three drop set on each arm. So right and then left. So I'm going to set it off with uh, drop sets from 80. 75, 70. Oh, that's right. Okay, that's so right. let's do it. I'm gonna start. It's 280, so I'm gonna start with this one. Right here. Oh, oh. All right, Big Chris, so tell us exactly how far did you drive to come train here at IO today? Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. I believe it to be exact, three hours and 35 minutes. Three hours and 35 minutes, and this is your second time here. Why did you come back? The energy, the culture, the love. I mean, I've been to a lot of gyms, a lot of places, and I never get this kind of love. Love it. What? You gotta give it to me. Listen, come on. Oh! Oh! You know, those bottles are actually one of the reasons why. Why we created the VR Hydras. So back in 2007, I used to send these bottles, collect them, mm -hmm. and get the money and send it to an orphanage in Botswana, in South Africa. Oh, really? So I went to college in Botswana. So I now, I, now I, I know a lot of people out there, and they had this one orphanage that we used to support. I used to collect all the bottles, mm -hmm. 10 cents, put them together, and send the bottles. But then I started to think, you know, think about all these bottles, and I'm just as guilty because I use bottles. Right. Well, how can we? leave less of a plastic footprint. So I went to the Cayman Islands like two years ago and I saw a turtle mm -hmm. with a plastic bottle like that wrapped around its shell. And it was growing like that. So you figure these bottles, they end up in the ocean. So how can I create something where I'm not dependent on the bottle. I have this and every day I just fill it up and use it. I fill it up and use it. And 
that way I use it because I, I come with one bottle, then I come with another gallon, then I come with another, and every day I drink like 12 of that. If I did 12 of that every day, you did, you know, two, three gallons a day, that's a lot of plastic waste. Of plastic, yeah. So, you know, the equal friendly version of using the same thing over and over again that actually works for you, I think is one of the biggest impetuses that uh, motivated me to create this, apart from its functionality. So, you know, it's eco-friendly, you can use it again and again, and we all leave a little less plastic waste. Let me get one more sip. Oh! Pump, pump, move!